A much cooler feel, much different feeling afternoon compared to that summer fe feeling heat that we had through the course of the weekend. Back to back days, the record high Saturday, 88 Sunday, right around the mid 80s. Now we're back closer to 60 on the other side of a cold front is still sparking a few isolated showers off to the east. They're wrapping up now Erie and Huron County. Now earlier in the afternoon, we tapped into just the right ingredients for a couple storms that did develop over Erie and Huron County. Some wind damage reported just outside of Willard and as that storm progressed off to the east, a couple reports of additional wind damage and just west of Strongsville outside of Elyria, a report of an EF zero tornado that briefly brought winds to about 80 miles per hour and did do some damage in and around the Cleveland metro area. That activity all off to the east and temperature wise fairly decent feel this evening near 60 degrees. Some spots falling back into the 50s like Adrian over toward Bryan. A couple 50s showing up. Tiff into Fremont where the showers are just beginning to wrap up and it will turn noticeably less humid tonight with several frosty mornings ahead this week. Just getting you prepared for this. We typically say you don't want to wait till Mother's Day before you actually get the flowers out and get in the garden. Here's the reason why for Wednesday morning, 32 degrees, Thursday morning, 31 degrees, Friday morning, 33 could get frost likely all three of those mornings. So the rest of the night tonight will begin to fall back into the 50s by tomorrow morning. If you're taking the kids out to the bus stop or just getting yourself rolling out the door, upper 30s to near 40 degrees, a cooler, brisk feel to your Tuesday morning. Through the afternoon, barely into the lower 50s, it will be brisk and cool tomorrow, a day that you're going to need the jacket even through the afternoon. And into Wednesday morning, the first of the frosty mornings, right around 32 in Toledo, some areas in southern Michigan, could be even as cold as the upper 20s. Highs Wednesday going to be more like maybe mid-March. Upper 40s expected on Wednesday. Tonight, partly cloudy, cooler breeze down to 39 for the overnight low. Into Tuesday to plan your day out. We'll head into the low 50s, but here's where the frosty weather works in. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Down near that freezing mark, we're expecting more widespread frost. 52 the high Tuesday. Frost Wednesday morning, 32, highs of the upper 40s. Mid 50s for Thursday, another frosty morning. Brighter skies will be expected through the afternoon. And into the weekend, we'll warm through the 60s Saturday. Chance of a few showers Sunday, but could edge towards 70 for the end of the weekend. Couple showers to end the weekend. And then early next week, upper 60s and low 70s. Very important that we talk dry weather this yeah. time of the year. Starting to get the farmers out in the farm fields. The next week or two will be critical for that. And it looks like all will cooperate outside of some frosty mornings. Yeah. That has more of an impact to our local flowers and getting in the garden. A lot of puddles out there after uh, the last 24 hours, though. It came down pretty good for yeah. a few hours today. Early afternoon, had a couple strong storms off to the east. Unfortunately, though, little if any damage reported. All right, Chris, thank you.